Welcome to another Jitterbits uh, demonstration. In this demo, we'll cover product synchronization between SAP by Design and Adaptive Ed Sites. Uh, we'll do a quick overview of our Cloud Studio Designer. Uh, we will specifically look at the project that was built for this uh, specific demo, and we will also add some SMS capability to our project on the fly. So let's get started. The first step is to look at SAP by Design. We have three products that are batteries, single A, double A, and triple A batteries in SAP by design. We want to make sure these products eventually make it to Adaptive Insight as products. So let's go ahead and look at the, uh, Adaptive Insight. And we, as you can see, we have uh, some products here under Jitterbit products. And uh, the batteries are not currently part of this dimension. Let's go ahead and quickly look at our designer. And this, um, uh, this is our Jitterbit Cloud Studio. Uh, basically, on the right-hand side, we have our connectivity and our out-of-the-box connectors. And on the left-hand side, you have uh, your workflows and your components. And in the middle is where you define your integration, your transformation, uh, your, any, uh, your um, logging or any type of activities that you want to do as far as automating your business process. Uh, as you can see on the first step, we're going to be doing uh, reading the product from SAP by Design. Uh, we're uh, providing a request to uh, SAP by Design uh, web, SOAP web services. We're calling the web service and we're capturing the results back which provides us the, the three products we're looking for, which are the three types of batteries. Once we have the product uh, available out of SAP by design, now we call uh, Adaptive Insights uh, REST APIs and make a post call to actually create those products within Adaptive Insights. So just to show this, uh, I'm gonna kick this process off manually. Um, at this point, our project is being sent to um, to cloud, and it's being executed on the on the on uh, on the cloud. As you can see, we're reading this. This is the actual uh, pro uh, workflow. As you can see, the first step has been successful, and the other parts, which are the three parts that were part of SAP by design, are now being processed. Now let's go back to Adaptive Insights. I'm going to go ahead and refresh our screen. And I'm going to navigate to uh, Jitterbit products again. As you can see, those three uh, batteries or three products that were actually in, in SAP by design are now have been added to Adaptive Insight. So let's go ahead and add a couple of uh, uh, components to our project. What we would like to do is to actually um, get uh, some SMS messages going after a successful uh, attempt. Um, I have built a, a, a Polivo uh, connector using our uh, Jitterbit uh, connector builder. Uh, connector builder allows you to connect, to create any type of uh, rest, uh, RESTful endpoints converted to a connector so you can drag and drop those activities into your integration and actually be able to make it part of your integration and, and workflow. So the first step is to actually drag my activity into my canvas. Now that I have, now that I have my activity, let's go ahead and configure that. Uh, this is the name of the activity, and based on the way I have developed my connector builder, it provides me the request as well as the response structure. As you can see, the, res the request is basically providing a source number, a destination number, and the text of, of, the, of the actual text message that's going to be sent out. Now that we have our uh, configured our activity, let's go ahead and actually define the transformation and provide the relative information to the Plevo uh, 
connector. So for our source, it's going to be the source number. And the number that, that we're going to use is This is uh, the target is going to be my telephone number. And the body of the text. And we're going to go ahead and save this. Uh, next, what we want to do is make sure this operation is called. Let's go ahead and actually give it a meaningful name. Um, what we would like to do is that after this operation is complete, we want to be able to send that text. So on success, we're going to run an operation, and that operation is going to be SMS send that we just created. And just like that, we are able to add SMS capability into our workflow. That concludes our video, and we'll see you next time.